New tonight, we're learning there's been a confirmed case of severe pulmonary illness linked to vaping in Lucas County. State health officials are now investigating about a dozen other potential cases. Amanda Fay talks with the state medical director about the recent developments and his warning to the public. The Ohio Department of Health now confirming three cases of severe pulmonary illness likely caused by vaping. Eleven other reports are being investigated. This is a relatively new phenomenon that was first identified in a couple of other states, but now has been identified in 25 states with over 200 individuals potentially affected. The health department says of the three confirmed cases in Ohio, the patients range in age from 18 to 26 years old and include two women and one man. They all required hospitalization. The health department now asking medical professionals to report any severe pulmonary illnesses they believe are linked to vaping. The state medical director issuing a warning. And there is uh, good reason to believe that it is not safe that uh, the, the vaping contents include not only nicotine, which is an addictive substance, but include cancer-causing chemicals, fine particulates that can be deposited in the lungs, and heavy metals. The state of Oregon, the latest to report a death from lung illness linked to vaping. Ohio's medical director recommends folks stop vaping while investigations continue. But those who do vape, uh, the CDC has encouraged people to not use uh, any uh, black market products uh, and also has encouraged people not to use uh, any vaping systems that have been adulterated in any way. State health officials also recommend folks call 1-800-QUIT-NOW for help with kicking the habit. For WTOL 11, I'm Amanda Fay. Michigan is the first state to ban flavored e-cigarettes. The rule has not yet been filed, but will be effective immediately once complete in a few weeks. At that point, the ban will last six months and will give Michigan businesses 30 days to comply. The rule can be renewed for an additional six months. The governor says it's a necessary step to prevent the younger population from taking up the habit. The Michigan Department of Health has called youth vaping a public health emergency.